Welcome to a world of laughs where humor knows no bounds. Enjoyed your stay? Subscribe, hit like, and keep the chuckles coming. Remember, laughter is timeless. An elderly gentleman decided to phone his son one day and said, Listen, I have something important to tell you your mother, and I can't live together anymore. We've been unhappy for 45 years, and that's just too long. The son completely shocked responded, Dad, what on earth are you talking about? The father explained, We just can't stand being around each other anymore. I'm tired of seeing her all the time, and I really don't want to discuss it further, so please do me a favor and call your sister sister to let her know. And with that, he ended the call. The son now really concerned quickly called his sister to tell her the alarming news. The sister couldn't believe what she was hearing, she exclaimed. They absolutely are not. Getting a divorce without wasting amament. She dialed her father's number as soon as he answered. She said firmly, You and mom are not going to need a divorce. Don't even think about doing anything, like hiring a lawyer or filling out any papers. My brother and I are going to come home tomorrow to talk about this. Do you hear me after saying her piece? She hung up the old man, then turned to his wife, smiling slightly, and said, Well, it worked. Both of them are coming for Christmas, and they're even paying for their own flights. <laughs> a senior man had recently retired and bought himself a nice little house near a middle school. For the first several weeks, his retirement was as peaceful and pleasant as he had imagined. But then the new school year began, and things changed the very next day. After school started three energetic young boys filled with the boundless energy, typical of kids their age after school, came walking down the street as they went. They started hitting every trash can they passed. This boisterous activity became their daily routine and the noise echoed through the quiet streets day after day. Eventually, the old man decided he needed to do something about this daily disturbance. So the following day, he went outside to talk to the young boys as they were happily making their musical racket along the street. He stopped them and said, You know you guys are really full of life and fun. I admire your energy in fact. When I was as young as you, I used to do the same kind of things. How about I make you an offer? I'll give each of you a dollar every day if you promise to keep coming around and doing your thing. The boys were thrilled with the offer and continued to energetically bang the trash cans with even more enthusiasm. After a few days, the old man went out to meet them again, but this time with a somewhat reg dreadful expression. He explained to them with this tough economy hitting hard, my finances are really taking a hit. I'm afraid I can only afford to pay you 50 cents each from now on to keep up your work on the trash cans. The boys weren't as happy with this news, but they agreed to the new deal and kept up their noisy after-school activity a little while later. The clever retiree approached them, again as they drummed away down the street. He said to them, I'm really sorry, but I haven't gotten my social security checked yet, so I'm going to have to reduce your payment to just 25 cents each. Is that okay? One of the boys, who seemed to be the leader of their little group, responded with clear disappointment. You want us to keep making all this noise for just a quarter? No way that's not worth our time at all. We're not going to do it anymore. <laughs>